all right so hey guys and welcome back to assassin's creed 3. today's episode begins with desmond and i'm actually pretty excited about this because before starting this series a lot of you told me that we had played all of the Ezio assassin's creed games which pretty much concluded Ezio's story and then this one assassin's creed 3 finally is the grand finale of desmond's story so i'm really excited to see how that turns out and of course what's gonna happen with our brand new assassin okay we've got an all new assassin going from altair to Ezio, and now connor the last couple of episodes have been just absolutely fantastic and i've been honestly enjoying this story very very much connor does feel like a very different type of assassin um you know because he wasn't really born into it kind of like Ezio was in a way at least his father was an assassin and then Altair, you know he was revolved around the assassins all his life i mean so far it, he's he's kind of different than the last two that we've played so it does feel a little bit different but i hear good things i don't know i guess we'll see so thank you for being here i hope you guys have a good one today and i hope that today's episode is just as good as the last so we are now in the uh, real world or present day playing with desmond so we're about like a minute into this sequence we're in sequence six i believe now the elevator is broken if i remember correctly so we're gonna have to do some hardcore parkour here this looks so freaking good like when you compare this game to assassin's creed one when you would play as desmond i know desmond has had several different looks throughout the years throughout the games but just looking at the graphic fidelity with this game in comparison to the last four huge huge difference now one of the characters that i was really interested in was achilles and i did a little bit of research and not a whole lot obviously um but supposedly he is in other assassin's creed games so i was just kind of wondering because of like who, who is this guy like how do we have an assassin or at least a guy that looks like an assassin and we have no idea who he is anyhow we have a button up there do we have to press that oh no, hold still it's a lovely view <laughs> Seriously, Sean? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, my boy, you could pay me a trillion dollars. I'm not doing this. We are hanging from a building in New York City. I don't know if you guys ever seen those videos of people that that hang from like the skyscrapers and hang from like those like crazy parts of the world. I've seen this one video. This dude fell. He slipped and he fell. It was bad. Like he was like this high. He just fell and yeah obviously he died but dude it was so cringeworthy like my butt cheeks just literally just yeah they, they tightened up pretty bad okay i'm gonna stop i'm making no sense but that's that's because i'm nervous <gasps> okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop let's focus let's focus here okay we gotta focus let's stay focused desmond okay Okay, so we've got this over here. Oh, really? Is that it? Oh, that was a lot more simple than I anticipated. Up and Adam, we got this. I know we're in the middle of a construction building. And it's a little scary, but this is crazy. Oh my god, don't look down, boys. Don't look down. Follow the ropes or follow the cables, not the ropes. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. Is that and so? Not so bright side. The slightest misstep means you're effectively at the pace. Shut up, Sean. I do like when you play as Desmond. You don't really have to worry about much. Just doing parkour, really always a nice little change of pace considering that when you're in the animus you've got all these sorts of dudes trying to kill you all the time it's a nice change of pace i feel like it's a nice balance G 
Jesus Christ, bro. Where the frick are we going? See that little feature when you have like a pool in the middle? Now he goes around it. That is such a small and simple change, but it makes a world of a difference. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! <laughs> joke. It was a joke. Or was it? So we're not gonna take the ladder, I suppose. Oh my god, we're going all the way over there. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, this is a really, really interesting way to start the sequence, start the episode. But you know what? I like it. I like it a lot. Uh oh. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late, and you'll miss the building. This is some Spider-Man shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Now, open your chute now. Oh god. Did we do that correctly? Cuz I felt like I jumped and then we jumped to like the left side versus like straight down like I, I don't know. <laughs> we made it. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you are crazy. That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything Fucking you up. So you got to the camp. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know I'm an assassin now, do you? He probably didn't know that. I've been in the animus like a long time, so I've got all the skills. But who the fuck so is So who the, the hell man? is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Okay, hold up. Let's talk to these people. Son? I, uh... I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. Cool. 
course, Dad. Come on now, pal. Now let me just punch you back real quick, cause you just still owe me a punch. You understand? I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. Hmm. We are being watched. What else do we have here? Should we go? Is there anything that we can do? What about up here? What is this? Okay. Okay, so this, this lady's back up there. Let's see if we can go speak to her. Was that Juno? What the hell was her name? I always got him confused. I'm pretty sure we're able to go up there. We follow our footsteps from the last time. We should be able to get up there in just a jiffy. So if you don't mind me doing my thing, I'm just gonna jump this. Wait, it wasn't like this. It was this way. I'm going up here. And that's it. Just just give them the good old hardcore parkour. <laughs> You'll be alright. Not a problem. There she is. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. cow okay boys uh we're on to something here all right let's get down let's get out of here we are going uh, how do we get out of here hold on we came from this way no we came okay perfect oh dude this is so interesting is that portal's not even open yet but this door is I wasn't even sure how to go over there what is a fact is it fixed immutable certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery or might it be changed here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us they were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Hmm. Alright, can we keep discovering up here? This is pretty cool. Travel back 
to change the past. But we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking. And instead, began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. <laughs> when they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... It failed. What? Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Lu what? I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, here we go. Ah, Desmond, there you are. Can I ask a favor? Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, <laughs> I'd be up for it. Be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. Yo, do we have a game like that? Do we have an Assassin's Creed game that goes back way back like that? Good luck, Desmond. All right. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects phrased. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already Come spun? All spare these a moment. things I must determine. Of course. For only by knowing look. my enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Xing Bao. Or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Zhong to. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Dude, he just got super old. Why did it say seven? Did it say seventeen seventy-three? Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Oh. Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, 
claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft. Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? <laughs> when my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> Holy crap. Interact, what is this? Ooh. So you can fast travel easily between cities by zooming in and out. So we've arrived at Boston. Oh, dude, this is so cool. I'm so excited to use Connor now as a grown man. This dude's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be cray cray. Okay, so we're relatively close to the destination. I think I could have also used the ship that we repaired, but it was just much faster and convenient to fast travel. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen. For sure. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? A little Thank sus, you. yes indeed. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. We must compromise. You see how people stare at hey, you and stuff? It's my home, no matter what you thieves called taxmen say. If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bullets! We're coming in! Ooh. Ah! Wow. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Oh. Oh shit. You can take what you you could use some support. You could use some support. Oh. Come on, you lobster back. Okay, are we good? Yes. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> You all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. 
Oh, he looks menacing, bro. <laughs> he looks dangerous. Oh, I'll loot the bodies. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, Connor's look is very, very, uh, <laughs> very crazy. All right. Why are you guys standing around? You've never seen an assassin before? Jeez. I know. I'm pretty sexy. I know. The hood looks really cool in video games. Try to put that on in real life and watch people laugh at your ass. Seriously. I don't know why everything looks better in games. You try to put it on in real life, you look like a dork. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Or at least I think so personally. Dispose of the tax collectors. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Yo. <laughs> this guy's a monster. Stay below no You know I shouldn't have done that. That was actually a different mission that we had there. Oh now this guy's gonna wanna kill me. fucking move okay I really gotta go like for real for real I gotta go all right sorry don't don't mean to hold you up but you know it's been a lot of action and uh, sometimes when you when, when you throw action at me I get a little excited I shouldn't have done that tax collector thing Fucked up the mission objective, the side Connor, quest objective. I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. Side objective. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Oh. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. All right, cool. What is the new little design on the hood? The eagle in the front? Pardon me. Uh, <laughs> come on, mate. He's a big dude, man. This Connor guy, he's fucking huge. I'm back to the docks. Oh, God. Oh, God. These guys are all gonna fucking. 
Oh, get on the horse. Oh, no. Get on the horse, not over the horse. Like on it. Like. Yep. Should have kept my notoriety level at two. Or I mean under two. This is not, not a good idea. Connor, get off. We we gotta go, bro. We gotta go now. Like now. I'm gonna shoot you. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta run. Oh my god, Connor. Let's go. Get up, get up, get up. Notoriety three, are you kidding me? Honestly, don't have. What the fuck is that? I don't have time right now to be taking down any posters. I gotta get going, man. Oh shit! No! Oh. Fuck! Oh, you guys done fucked up. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't fucked up now. <laughs> okay, can we just chill, please? Oh, God. I'm gonna die here. Oh, God. Fucking die. I'm gonna die. Sorry. Oh god. God, why are these guys so fucking relentless? These guys literally chased chased me onto the other side of the objective. It was a little bit, uh, uh, you know, excessive if you ask me. But hey, whatever. No, don't do that. Just take that post round. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my name is Connor, and I'm here to kick your ass. Perfect. Oh shit. Okay, so we destroyed that. How do I dive with A, right? Or is it B? No, yeah, it's B. Okay, so I'm gonna go under and I'm gonna kill this guy. Maybe I could even just plant this. Maybe I don't even have to. Hold on. Can I just plant this here? Uh, sir. Hidden blade, please. What are you doing, dude? Get up. Why am I like stuck to the... F okay, he doesn't want to go forward. Now I feel... There we go. So I'll just plant this one here. Dude, you're going to probably die. So I, I suggest you get the hell out of there. Just saying. Yeah, he died.
my god, that fucking roll is so disgusting. Very nice. Damn it, Connor, you savage, you little bastard. I think we're good. Nice. Okay. Well, this is a pretty long Not fucking so mission. Alright, let's head back the other way. These guys are just bullying people in this town. What's going on here? This is not justice. I really like Connor. He is... He's a monster. Okay? He really is a monster. Intercept. Hmm. Alright, so I've got to be really careful here. As long as we not get spotted. That was cool as shit. Oh, this game is so cool. And Connor is... I, I also like the way you can swerve like this. Hold on. There's a chest right there. And a little puppy. I'm not going to assassinate them. Why would you even give me that option? Look, look. I really... Something that you notice right off the bat that's a lot smoother is the turning. Like this turning like this when you swerve. Even on the legs, you like the movement is just very, very good. In in the recent Assassin's Creed, it was just a very sharp turn. Oh, this ha them, this this must have been a uh, next gen upgrade. There's no way like the turning is so smooth. I don't even know if that was available in like during the Xbox 360 days or whenever the last Assassin's Creed games were. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Some pathetic red coat. I will match your face to your jacket, Capule. Jesus Christ. Après mon père au Canada, et voilà qu'il me ravisse ma propriété ici. Il suffit. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, the hidden blade for as long as we possibly can. We're gonna have to go against the guards here to the right. Oh, this guy's crazy. It's gotta be them, right? Gotta be them. We are not English. We are not English. No. Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. That's fucking right. There's a new man in town. We ain't fucking around. Stefan, please. Stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. 
they come into my home and take my things, I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Yeah, we're the one doing all the killing. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You look Oh shit. Oh my god. That is insane. Holy crap, that was fast. Well, I haven't really had the opportunity to defend this guy, Stefan, because we've actually been uh, doing pretty damn good. Okay, until when is this madness? Because I'm, I'm, I'm just literally, I'm your lapdog right now. I'm at the point where I'm just doing all the killing for you. I'm putting a stain on my name, you understand? Okay, I see the next uh, group of soldiers. Hmm. Destroyed? You stupid mongrel. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted. Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Use your assassin recruits in combat to activate their unique abilities. What? supposed to happen was it or what why you have no right to rob people blind by decree of the british parliament or not british parliament i work for william johnson johnson and his suffering cleanly please Did I, did I do that correctly? The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. And the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your Maybe. aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Maybe he, he becomes one of like our recruiters, an angry chef. Very angry indeed. Look for missions with, uh, okay. Uh, so we're heading this way. See if we can find uh, Sam, uh, William, William Adam. What was his name? I forgot. Dude, I'm so bad with names. Holy cow. I was about to call the dude William Sam. <laughs> That's so cool how some people are, like hanging out through the window. I haven't tried it yet, but I want to say you could probably go in through their window and kind of cut a shortcut if you will. Should be close. Yes, sir. I think this is the last mission in the sequence. I'm not too sure. Feels like it. Aye, but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them leave. The tea party. <laughs> what happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Yeah. 
Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his finances. William Johnson. Your village will be saved. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Yeah, Connor definitely has like a chip on his shoulder. I don't know. Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. I see. And died there. Sorry, I was a little sloppy, but cool at the same time. Boston Tea Party. that bay where the tea's been dumped. Let me up. I'm yours to command. Dump crates of tea to the water. Uh, throw records to the water. Okay. I will keep throwing the crates of tea to the water. This is so cool. Perform a musket assassination. Very nice. How do I? How do I? 
Let me pick up this weapon here. <laughs> Musket assassination. Okay, let's use the uh, bayonet. Maybe that'll count. Oh, fuck. Oh! Out by throwing tea crates. No, but what you, yo, these guys are really throwing tea crates that slow. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh my god, this is this is embarrassing, guys. Okay, you guys are embarrassing me. Is this really my squad? right over the water or over to the water jesus i can't even speak right now carry and hold okay counter I'm trying to read the commands here Crazy. Very nice. Okay, let's pick up some more crates. And throw them overboard. What are you doing, dude? Are you gonna come here and come into our ship like it's all good? I don't think so. Your boy Connor's here. That did not work. Wow. I'm throwing them right on the deck. That is retarded. about to kill Paul but it's okay we're almost done with this there we go we've done it this guy's got to show up Ooh. Ooh. I cannot wait to see Connor? Lee's face we saved the last and he sees who we are I cannot fucking wait really interesting about this game is that you saw these people though the bad people you played with them like you knew you were part of their crew and then it just flips upside down and now you're against them it's so crazy best we get out of here It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Okay. Six months later. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Oh God, are you kidding me? This guy. Okay. So if we back up, we can probably get there. Is he not going to get out of the canoes to the Ned Johnson's you got the rocks top? Hmm. You can fast travel easily between cities by zooming out. Can I fast travel over there? <laughs> That'd be weird. 
We're gonna head this way, although maybe not the most popular choice. Hopefully this is the right decision. Nice. Nice little trail of tall grass here. This should keep us hidden. Oh god. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. We're in business. Fuck. Oh, there he is. Dude, he's so hidden. I can't even see him. Stuck by that tree. If we can manage to go around. Perfect. Excellent. Very, very nice. Fuck me, dude. You kill him already? Oh my god. Well, there goes that. He's dead. We are not your brother. Got one more little stupid Be soldier roaming around here. Land that is not yours nor any person. I only wish to say there are those who would betray and manipulate you. The worst yet, take the land by part. We are all too aware of the expeditions your people send against us. What do you mean, mine? We are all one. Come on. <laughs> By signing our lives over to you, and we'll be at one. Death what the fuck? Mr. William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us, as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes. That we might unmask the great betrayers. This is a mistake. We should sign. Come here, baby. getting closer unfortunately we couldn't do the whole going undetected stuff but you know what it is what it is some of these bushes act as walls which kind of screwed me up oh my god this place is packed with people dude peace peace have i not always been an advocate have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets, and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Okay, so limit Native American casualties, one, and assassinate Johnson. All right, let's do this. Oh God. Still dope. 
Come on. Are you kidding me? How do you even see me? Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Oh, shit. I was not yet the Hagum Sere, and the Hyayu Meskanas is Hagum Haja. Slow motion. We did. Oh. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> Memory sync completed. Nice. That is the end of sequence six. William Johnson is dead. And with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is... Regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father. I know. You speak the words. But do you believe them? Seems we've company.
What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Okay. So you already know. Oh, he has the hood on... Oh, that's cool. See, that's something that I think they introduced in this game, where the hood is doesn't always have to be over your head. I think. But anyways, uh, guys, there you have it. What a crazy episode. This game is really good. It really is. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this game. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, as always. If you'd like to see more daily videos on Assassin's Creed 3, drop it a like. And hopefully, I'll catch you guys later.